you are confused, right? Because you don't know who I am and why am I running. So, let me show you how the whole thing started. My name is Tom, and I've been working for an event management company for a month, and it's an ideal job that everyone dreams of. But behind it are many interesting stories, especially about the contractual dealings. And today, I'll take you to the office with me and give you some useful tips on how to do effectively like an ER. So, go with me. What are you doing, guys? Are you kidding me? As you can see, the angry woman over there is my posh. She is literally cute, so she's still bachelor. And newbie like me are her bias when it comes to facing the company's problems. Maybe I am new, and people are always curious. I guess so. It's the end of the year 2020, and the company has to celebrate a night concert to welcome the new year. But the problem our company has to address is that we don't have enough experience in the communications area. So, I suggest another alternative plan that we should cooperate with the media agencies to have a better promotion. Mm -hmm. So, who would be the lucky allocated one to have a chance to deal with the LTV agencies? So, we put it to the ballot. Okay. I was the located one because I am new. It means my dealing journey starts from now. Hmm, let's me begin with email. Three hours later, two thousand years later, one eternity later. I have to choose another way. Phone? Mm, that's it. Speaking, who's on the line? Oh, oh, hello. I'm Tom calling from LA Company. Can I meet Miss Angela, uh, the manager of LTV Agency? Yeah, actually, I'm from the external relations department. Uh, my company will hold a MD event next month, so I need your help on... Okay, thank you for your proposition. But first, can I ask you a question? What do you know about our company? Something like our service, our orientation, and our potential customer in the yeah, future? I, I, I wait, wait for me a minute. So, next time, please set up carefully before contacting okay. us. Oh man, contact online is not okay. I should go meet directly, right? Stop, stop. Where are you going? I have a meeting with Miss Angela. Please let me in. Your look is not appropriate for business purpose. I can't let you get past. Yo, what the matter with you? You definitely don't have an eye for fashion. Just let me in. Wait, wait. I can't let you in. Get you know out of my business. It sucks. That man just freaked me out. Mm, I think I should change my outfit. Morning, Miss Angela. It's my pleasure to meet you today. Uh, hello, it's great to see your energy. I hope today's celebration will go well. Yeah. Uh, so we get straight into our work. 
Yeah, so we are planning to hold an event for welcoming New Year party and I heard that your company are good at uh, organizing PR and communication campaigns so we are looking forward to your consideration for this cooperation. And that's my reason for our meeting today. I appreciate your proposal. Will you mind showing us the cooperation contract, please? Cooperation contract? Yeah, of course. Oh, let me see. difficult dealing and always drive me to a verge of being fired from a company. I don't know what to do now. Just wanna go die. Oh no, my dear. It's okay. Just leave it to me. I'll give you some advice, darling. First of all, researching for your potential cooperator is the essential priority. You should know all the basics about them. Moreover, you should understand your objective, determine desired outcomes. Last but not least, consider some potential obstacles, if possible, set an agenda for the upcoming meeting. Appearance is one of the first things people take into consideration when they meet you for the first time. Throughout preparation offer you significant leverage in the meeting. Zoom meeting can be stressful and stressful. You will try a hard begging if you keep being confident and fluent. In order to clean the deal, you can sweep the deal well in an implicit or explicit way. There are a lot of important and necessary documents involved to ensure the meeting will not go down to the wire. Make sure you get it all in your bag and check it one more time before you leave for the meeting and give them what they want, not what you have. Offering them some benefits to show the reason why they should give up a chance to work with. So, that's my story about how to deal like a professional. As you can see, dealing is nothing too irritating after you watch this video. I hope these superior tips would help you not only have a wider look on dealing but also change your vocabulary in the business English setting. Now let's have a look and note down some new words. I do believe that they will help you somewhere in the future. Guys, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor